All right, I don't, I don't know the backstory on this. Uh, I have an idea, but I want you to watch this and then I'm gonna present a scenario to you. Go! 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 And then he risks life and limb and dives into the water doing a fucking wrestling dr elbow drop on the alligator. So I started thinking about this uh, and trying to, I always try and put myself in other people's positions or shoes. And I'm like, what's, would I do this? <laughs> That's my question to everybody is what's the level of commitment you do on you know rescuing somebody like there's definitely levels to I guess your commitment to save someone and also who you're willing to save right it's not like you you would just see a stranger and jump in on this or would you I mean you're a better person than me like maybe a co-worker like Bob in payroll Bob's always a fucking cock right it's always a piece of shit and then you see him here <laughs> I put about this much effort stop stop it <laughs> You're a family member, maybe your child or mother or father. I'm sure we'd uh, we'd be willing to risk life and limb. Or is there is there some wiggle room on there? Like if it's your child, are you like immediately like yes, hundred percent? But if it's like, you know, your great grandma that's ninety two, you're like, I mean, fuck, she had a good life. I don't know why she would be out fucking swimming around with fucking alligators anyway. That one would you you know like yell and throw some rocks, but be like, I mean. You know, I, I, she had a good run. <laughs> or if it's somebody you know, like, is there levels of your commitment with someone you know? Maybe your pastor, you're, you love God, you love Jesus, and uh, very close with your pastor, but then are you also just like, I mean, you got God on your side, you should be all right. <laughs> I, I'm, I can pray from here. I'm your friend, you know, like a best friend. Fuck, I'm trying to think, man. Whew. Yelling to your best friend, Jimmy, I'm trying, but fuck, man. I mean, I got shit I want to do in life. Oh, dude. So then you don't jump? What if you don't jump? And then, but then that person survives. Maybe the, the alligator takes a leg, but they survive. And then every time they see you, they're just like, you motherfucker. <laughs> what's, the, what's the level? I wonder what your jump scale is. Like, second cousin removed? Nah. That's a, that's a couple rock throws and a yell. A firstborn child, 100%. Stepsister that slept with your boyfriend when you were out of town? Mm. Mm. <laughs> and do you bring it up? She's screaming, help me, help me, there's a fucking alligator. And you're like, oh, I'll help you, huh? Why don't you ask Billy for help? You know Billy, the one you fucked while I was out of town? You screamed his name, why don't you scream his name now? So I'm curious, what's the levels? What's your level? I'm sure there's different levels for everybody. Maybe you don't have a good relationship with a cousin or maybe your cousin's your best friend. Maybe there's certain ones that are kind of a given for all of us, like your kids, if you had kids. Or maybe not. <laughs> maybe you're like, teach them a lesson. You're like, I fucking told you not to go in the swamp. That's what you get. <laughs> now, what's your level? Who would you save? And would you do it for a best friend? Put it in the comments.